Hello dear friends, today I wanted to make a different kind of video, a lighter video for a change, where I address some of the assumptions about me that I either heard or read in the comments over the years. So let's set the record straight and go through the list. First of all, how old am I? People think for some reason that I'm in my mid to late 20s or maybe early 30s. And it's just not true. All my life I looked younger than I really was. And it used to bother me. But now I reach the age when I think that is kind of cool. I'm actually 42 years old. I was born in 1977. So not too young, but not too old. All right. Now, how tall am I? People assume that I'm maybe 6'5 or something like that. Because I have a long torso and people see me sitting with a guitar and they think that I'm actually a tall person. But I'm not. I'm just the average height. If you Google the average height of American men, that's me. Okay, uh, another reason why people think that I'm tall is because my shoulders are pretty wide. I was born that way and people also assume that I'm an exercise freak. Uh, I'm not. I used to exercise but I never exercised for more than three months at a time. So on and off. And when I exercised I used very light weights like this uh, nine pound weight here. I had it for many years and I used to lift it um, once in a while. Now I kind of stopped. After I hit 40, uh, you know, things start sliding and I stopped exercising. Uh, but I also liked some running and some walking up and down the hill and uh, some exercises like burpees, you know, where you do a push up and then jump up and clap your hands. At some point, I did get it up to 200 repetitions in 20 minutes which was my top. I don't think that I can repeat it now. <laughs> I'm lucky to do 50 probably. Okay, next. Uh, for some reason, people think that my fingers are the same length. I think it all started with that video where I'm teaching how to play fast scales. I can't say it in that voice anymore. Um, and I think I'm showing people that I have no nails. And they look at my fingers and they appear to be the same length, like this. But I'm just doing it by adjusting the knuckles. Really, my fingers are not the same length. They're a different length, but I can make them look like they are. So, I'm just human, I'm not an alien. Now, people say that I'm Paco's student. Oh, I really wish that it was so. But only one time in my life did I spend quality time with Paco. And that was in 1994, when I was in Madrid and I was invited to play for Paco. Uh, luckily, he was in his house at that time because it was close to his birthday. So I did go there and play for him and he said really nice things about me and just was such a nice warm person towards me and uh, gave me a bunch of strings knowing that I came from Russia and I probably had no access to this stuff. And he also gave me this this record that he signed for me. You know, uh, his signature is right here. And this is a record of Camarón de la Isla called Potro de Rabia y Miel. But inside, if you open it up, is a different CD that I don't think Paco knew that this this was what he was giving to me because it was already open he signed it it's Concierto de Aranjuez but not only that if you look closely it says sample right in the center right here it says sample so I don't know what's the deal What's the deal with this CD? But it's definitely not something that you could buy in a store. I assume that it was given to Paco to check if the recording was good. 
when you first recorded this. So now I own it and I treasure it. It's my treasure. Actually, I only had one, one teacher for my technique in my life, and that was my father. Everything that I play is because of his teachings. He's a fantastic teacher and um, is really great for, for beginners and for, for people who want to have good technique. Now, next assumption is that I'm a classical guitarist first. This is true and not true at the same time. Why is it true? Because I started with classical guitar back in 1984. Uh, I, I started learning classical guitar from my father and I played it for about two years. But in 1986, after I heard Paco de Lucia in concert, I switched to flamenco. So I never entirely abandoned classical, uh, but my focus has always been flamenco. Now, in year 2000, I entered the conservatory in Boston, New, Il New England Conservatory, where I earned my Bachelor of Music, Master of Music, and Doctor of Musical Arts degrees under Elliot Fisk. So for some time, I thought about switching entirely to classical guitar, but I stayed with flamenco and I don't regret it. I've always loved classical and I play classical, but I think that my talents are suited for flamenco better. Now, studying with Elliot was fantastic, actually. Uh, he opened my eyes on music in a lot of ways and uh, really influenced the way that I perform on stage. So thank you, Elliot. Now, next assumption is that I was born this way. You know, I was just born a uh, really good guitarist. Or people think I'm a good guitarist. I don't think so. Um, I know that I'm not bad, but um, I always see my mistakes. Um, no, I was not born this way. I worked a lot. I worked really hard and I did make a lot of sacrifices in my life to get where I am now. But it's been a great journey for me. It's been fun. There were frustrations, there were triumphs, but I think that without hard work that I put in, I would not have been a guitarist today. I would probably switch to something else. And finally, something funny. Uh, people think that... Uh, you know, if I can shred on a classical or flamenco guitar, that I'm probably an amazing, um, you know, electric guitarist, that I am great with plectrum, with pick. And it just makes me laugh so hard because I tried electric guitar and I know how I sound on it. You know, do you, um, you know, sometimes if you don't know how to play violin and you just try it, you know, if a friend is nice enough to give you a violin and you try a few sounds and it sounds just horrible, well, that's nothing compared to how it sounds when I play electric guitar. Not only can I not play with the pick and I don't get the coordination right, but also all the nice, you know, vibratos that people do I have no idea how to do them, and I sound so bad, like I'm a total noob in um, in electric guitar. I totally suck, so I'll be the first one to say it. So this always made me laugh. Uh, I'm not a good electric guitarist, and electric guitar is is great art, but I'll stick with classical and flamenco. So I hope that you enjoy this lighter video shed some light on some of these assumptions and I'll see you next time. Take care.